Welcome back, viewers. Um, I'm going to discuss a little topic that might be controversial, but I'll explain myself better in the end. A friend of mine told me, what if I'm Muslim or what if I'm Buddhist? Um, what if I haven't accepted Jesus as my Savior? Can I still get into heaven? Um, the answer is yes. If the person is pure, but it's, there's a scripture in the Old Testament that says Wick, wickedness does not stand in the place sin, sinners, not sinners. Uh, wickedness cannot not stand in the presence of God. So we got that down. Now there's a story in Acts about Philip talking to a hearing a eunuch read the book of Elijah. And uh, the Lord told Philip to go to the eunuch in the chariot, and he did. And the eunuch invited him in, and he said, the eunuch asked him, is this message from Elijah or God? Uh, and if, 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 if uh, then, then uh, Philip was pushed to preach about Christ. Um um, and his salvation a little more, and uh, he did. And then he, they saw a pond on the water, and the eunuch said, "Can I be baptized here?" And he baptized the eunuch. So, to enter heaven, you must be baptized. I believe that. Um, and it says also that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Have we seen that? I think we have. Um. But not the not the wicked. So, the coming of the Lord is soon. Believe it or not, as soon right right at, right at your right hand. <laughs> and uh, so, if you want to be like right with the Lord, um, accept Him as Savior, and over your life, um, you'll be protected by God's grace. Because Jesus says, "I'm the way, the truth, the life. No one can get to the Father except through me." Bow, bow, bow. Okay. I'm done with this video. Everybody have a good day. Goodbye.